I am playing Famicom, apparently. Okay, so you guys saw the intro. It's the 8-bit summer, and me and about a hundred other Let's Players, I guess, are uh, going to be playing 8-bit games for no reason whatsoever. So that's fun. Now, you're looking at this, and you you may be thinking, what what's, what's going on here? Uh, Super Mario Bros. 2 is way different. Well, um... A lot of people know about the whole Doki Doki Panic thing, and if you don't know what's going on here, just look it up somewhere. But uh, there's two different game options here. You can either play Mario game or a Luigi game. The Mario game is pretty much just like the regular Super Mario Bros. you're used to. And Luigi game, you play as Luigi, and he jumps higher than Mario, but his traction is a lot crazier. Just It's pretty much just like uh, Super Mario Galaxy in that kind of fashion. And then I prefer playing as Mario. Luigi sucks. So here we go. Let's start playing here. Now, uh, there's a there's a few differences. This is basically a ROM hack of uh, Super Mario Bros. 1. Now, there's a few differences. The mushrooms have eyes, which became a staple in the series from here on out. And we introduce something called poison mushrooms. That's right. Do not touch those. Oh, or that happens. Yeah. Now the the bushes don't look like the clouds, and the clouds are smiling. So it is a little different, but it's pretty much a romac. I won't lie to you. Oh, I died already. Great. <laughs> this is gonna be a fun time. So I'm gonna play through these and uh, pretty much just leave everything I can in. Uh, I'm going to leave it basically unaltered as far as I can. Now, if I fail for, like, more than, like, two or three times in a level, I'll probably start editing out some stuff. Ugh, come on. One, two, three. Oh, god dang it. Oh, this is irritating. There, finally. Okay. So, yeah, the mushrooms... Oh, I didn't mean to get that again. Let's let that go off screen or bounce back. There we go. Okay. So there's a few other differences than that, but we'll uh, kind of talk about them as we see them. Oop. Yeah. Now, they originally... They didn't release this game in the U.S. because they thought it was going to be uh, too hard for American gamers, so to speak. So, uh, I guess that was their reasoning. Whoa. And they actually released uh, the Super Mario Bros. 2 that they released here. The one that's actually... Pretty much a ROM hack of Doki Doki Panic with Mario characters in it. They released that in Japan as uh, Super Mario USA. So that's kind of crazy. And yeah, this is uh, this is exactly how it looked like in Japan. I I think it's pretty weird that it's all like English characters and stuff. But yeah, this is un completely unaltered. Uh, we can't go swimming. Don't worry about that. Alright, and there's uh, some... Oh, one another difference is uh, with warp zones. Oh god. I'm just going to go up here. Why not? So I can talk a little bit. You can see what the treachery I would have encountered down there. But yeah, there's, uh, th with the warp zones, um, there's some warp zones that you can find uh, if you are able to jump over a flagpole, which is probably a lot easier with Luigi. Well, not probably, but it is. And there are warp zones where some of them may take you back to previous worlds. So that's kind of weird. Now with this, I'm probably just going to do the uh, regular worlds. Um, if you've played the Super Mario All-Stars version of this game, then you can get to... There's worlds A through D after you beat the game. And... Oh, crap. Yeah, there's another difference. Bloopers can fly in the air in this game. Which is ridiculous. And they're just... Their patterns are just as erratic as if they were swimming. Pieces of garbage. Look at you. Oh, oh, that's another thing. This game has a little bit of a physics engine that... Allows if you jump off a enemy just right, it will launch you into the air, just like you saw back there. Um, so, okay, what was I gonna say about? Uh, oh, 
to, in order to get to worlds A through D in the original version, you had to beat the game eight consecutive times. Did I just say times? Because I think I did. But uh, yeah, you have to beat it eight consecutive times, which I'm not gonna do. I could cheat and get to those wor those worlds, but eh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna bother. So we're almost done with World 1. We've got the castle here. Fire stick, everything's pretty much the same here. Uh, I'm trying to remember more differences. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, uh, in the original Super Mario Bros, there were uh, certain castles where if you took... There were multiple paths you could take. And if you didn't take the right one, it would send you back. Oh, that was close. Oh, God. Okay, and it would send you back, and uh, now they have it in some of the uh, regular levels, too. Alright, I'm just gonna be careful. There we go. No problem. See ya, Bowser. So long, big Bowser! Or whatever Mario says in Super Mario 64. Alright, well, World 1 is out of the way, and that's how I'm gonna do these, uh, this, this Let's Play series is I'm going to do it by worlds. So next time we get to deal with this. And I'll see you then. Later, guys.